Booyah Kasha. Check it. People have been reading books for millions of years, but thanks to new technology, now they is able to write them as well. That is why I is off to New York to sell some book ideas. Boom! You are like no brana, no bougaisy. You up in a glass tree, so you miss I has written a romance book. The title is A Kiss on the Lips. Not those ones, you dirty devil. Normal ones. Who knows hoes more than anyone else in the world? Me. This is written from a man who has boned over six bitches and nine if you include fingers and thumbs. It's called The Crown. Story is this. Some terrorists come into the UK and then manage to stick a grenade up the Queen's Punani. And like, I's got 48 hours to get it out. Now, I didn't quite hear what you said. Where has this bomb been hidden? In a Pune. That's a little, that's a little bit off, uh, off kilter. That's more of a thriller espionage, and I do primarily science fiction. All right, well, I can set it, like, on a spaceship. Does you know how much money the film Lord of the Rings has made? I have no idea. Literally thousands of dollars. Hundreds, millions of dollars. Me is going to write a book version of the film Lord of the Rings. But there is a book called Lord of the Rings. The, the movie was based on a book called Lord of the Rings. Problem is, when bitches is reading it on the bus or in a library, them don't have the privacy to strum their own banjo. You know, yeah. flick their own baked bean. So the answer is that this book stimulate not only the mind, but also the punani. How? I'll show you. It vibrates. I would say this would be a first in publishing. I've never heard of anything like this. Here is the story. It start off, President Bush and his missus, Laura, they is opening a swimming pool. She sees the lifeguard. She look at his face. Nice. She look at his blink. Nice. She look at his dong. Very nice. We is all heard of World War II. But did you know that a few years before that, was something called World War One. Yeah, sure. I's got new interviews with Germans in that is gonna like throw a whole new light on the whole thing. Contemporary Germans? No doubt. They was a uh, student staying at the mate Ricky C's mum's house. Me asked one of the girls if her granddad was Arnold Hitler. Yeah. You know the one with the Small tash? Yeah, I know who Hitler is. No doubt. Because she had, like, you know, a similar one on her. So, me was chatting to her, and the moment me said it, she'd get up, put her panties back on, and I ain't never heard from her since. Explain that. You'd have to explain it. I couldn't explain it. She speak like this. I can't think like this. My husband is the most powerfulest man in the whole world, probably. The only reason he went and did that war with Iraq was because I made one comment about what Saddam Hussein's cock must be like. Interesting. Not one other book out there. What is that? I is going to write President Bush's autobiography. You're going to write his biography? Autobiography. Well, yeah, okay. 
why would he even consider listening to you? Three words. Five thousand dollars cash. That means nothing to him. All right, five billion dollars. Where are you going to get five billion dollars? That's where you comes in. Is you up for handing over some cash? Well, I think the, the most of, you're not going to like that figure because it's so low. But yeah. at, at this point, the only figure, the only uh, amount I could could possibly give you is uh, fifty dollars to sign this book. I'll take it. <laughs> 